Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 3 raised to the power x multiplied by 5 raised to the power x squared equals to 15. Like this video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you. From here, we can write this again as 3 raised to the power x multiplied by 5 raised to the power x squared equals to 15. We can write that as 3 times 5. And from here, we can divide both sides by 5, dividing this side by 5, so as to remove this 5, and divide this side by 5, then 5, we cancel 5 here. Then also, we can remove this 3 raised to power x by dividing this side by 3 raised to power x, and also divide this side by 3 raised to power x, so 3 raised to power x cancel each other here, and then what we have left here is 5 raised to the power x square, then over 5, which is equal to 3 over 3 raised to the power x. And then from here, in the next step, you can separate this and write it again in another way, applying the law of indices, and this can be written as 5 raised to the power x square multiplied by 5 raised to the power minus 1. So because 1 over 5, same thing as this, which is equal to 3, multiplied by 3 raised to the power minus x. Then, this is 3 raised to the power 1. In the next step, applying the law of indices, the same base and multiplying, we can have the power, and this becomes 5 raised to the power x squared minus 1, which is equal to 3 raised to the power 1, then minus x. Then we can take the log on both sides. Then the log on this side, we have log 5 raised to the power x squared minus 1 equals to log 3 raised to the power 1 minus x. Then from the law of log reading, the power comes to the back here. And then this becomes x squared minus 1, then log 5, the power has come to the back, then equals to this power to come to the back, 1 minus x, then log 3. Then let's divide both sides by log 5. Here, divide this side by log 5. Also, here, divide this side by log 5. And then, from here, log 5, we cancel log 5. And what we have here is simply x squared minus 1, which is equals to, this side we have 1 minus x. Then, we can write this as log 3 to base 5. Applying change of base there. Then, from here, same thing as writing this as 1 square. Then, from the difference of 2 squares, Difference of two squares, we can factor this as x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1. And then, which is equal to 1 minus x log 3 base 5. Here, we can take everything to one side. And then, when we take everything to this side, we have x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1, then minus 1 minus x, 1 minus x, then log 3 base 5, then equals to 0. Now, we have x minus 1 here. Let's try to make this one as well as x minus 1. That means we need to multiply this bracket by minus. So, that means taking minus out now. That will be plus. Then, this becomes x minus 1. Then, we have log 3 base 5 equals 0, so we have this, which is x plus 1, then x minus 1. Then, now we can factor x minus 1 out from here, and then we have x minus 1 out. What is left here is simply x plus 1. Then, what is left here is simply plus log 3 base 5, which is equals to 0. And here we have two cases, x minus 1 equals 0, or we have x plus 1 plus log 3 base 5 equals 0. So here, s equals to 1. 
So x equals to 1 from here. Then from this side as well, we can take everything to one side and this is x equals to 1 comes there we got minus. Minus 1 minus log 3 base 5. Then factoring minus out here we have minus into bracket 1 plus log 3 base 5. And we can express 1 as log 5 is 5 because log 5 is 5 will give us 1 so from here we can say this is x equals to minus log 5 base 5 this is same thing as 1 then plus log 3 base 5 and then from here we can bring the log together as 1 because they are together here then we multiply and this will be minus log 5 times 3 times base 5 from the law of log reading. Then this is minus log 15 base 5. And here we have another value of x. Here we come to the end of the class. Thank you for watching. Also subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.